Welcome once again to explainingthefuture.com. In my recent video on the 3D printing revolution, I explained how it's now possible to go online, upload a 3D object and get it printed out. This time I therefore thought I'd try my own online 3D printing experiment. OK, well here I am at my desk, where I've already created a computer model in the Lightwave package so I can print it out. I built this model in Lightwave because it's the package I use for all my 3D animation, but you could use all sorts of packages including the free packages like, like Blender or, or Google SketchUp. This model is actually, as you may recognise, a small section of a carbon nanotube, and you may remember carbon nanotube images in, in many of my animations. Um, it's built using a process called subpatching, which basically means whilst you see here a nice smooth model, it's actually built up from relatively few polygons that form a control cage, which I can then flick on and it creates a smooth structure. However, that won't work for um, 3D printout, so I have to what's called freeze the model to create lots of real geometry. And you'll see also this model has got no holes in it, very important for 3D printing, you don't want the material leaking out. I now have to save the model in a format which will work for 3D printing. Uh, unfortunately you can't use a lightwave format for that, but you can use a format called OBJ, object format. So I'm going to save this and call it, for example, Nanotech Bangle, what should we call it? Um, print and save that. That'll take a second to whir along and then I'll have got an object ready for printout. Having done that, I'll now go to the iMaterialize website. I've already created an account on this site uh, and therefore I can go straight into um, uploading my model. So there we are, upload model. And I will pick up the object I've just exported and that will sit there whizzing along. It's, it's loading the thing in. It, it's a bit strange for me making this video. Normally when I make a video, I know exactly what's going to happen, but of course this time I don't. I'm uploading something, hoping it's all going to print out all right, but we won't find out until it actually comes back again. Anyway, we're getting there, it's got up to what, 62, 63, 64, 65, 70 percent. So the model is uploading, and hopefully in a second we will see the result of that. Almost there. The model is uploaded, and um, it's now just generating a preview. And there we are, we have a preview and exactly the same model as we've just seen, which I can move around. Um, you can tell I've managed to transfer a model from Lightwave into the iMaterialize system. And I want to pick the actual material to print in. Um, it's given me a default of polyamide. Um, you can pick all sorts of um, materials. You could pick, for example, ABS plastic, which would cost 58 euros and 80, 80 cents, I think it is in euros. Um, I could pick prime grey which will be 15 and a half um, euros. But I'm actually going to print this in stainless steel because I want a model which will be fairly robust. I can imagine I'll carry this around when I'm doing presentations, take it out of my pocket, it'll get passed around, it may get handled a lot, hopefully it might survive. And I'm going to pick up um, a variant of that called Wheat Penny. If we just have a little look, you can see this is the type of material I'm printing out in. Uh, it's quite an aesthetic looking material and it's also um, extremely strong. So, having uploaded the model, uh, I just have to add it to my cart. There it is, look. Uh, there's the image of an nanotube, um, the material itself, um, the price, etc. And I now just need to um, proceed to check out. It's a very straightforward process. This stage I need to add things like um, address information and obviously I'll have to put in my credit card details. I'm sure you don't want to see that and I certainly don't want you to see that. So I'll finish off this process and I'll see you again when it's come back, which should be in a couple of weeks time. But just to remind us what we're printing out, here's a rendering of the model I've just shown you um, and we'll see when we get the final model back how close it looks to what it looks like in this render. OK, well here I am again, it is now two weeks later, and today UPS delivered this package from iMaterialize, so it's finally time to uh, grab the scissors 
and to find out exactly what they've sent me and what they've printed out. Okay, so we have the excitement of watching me open polythene. There we are, let's see what's in here. Obviously a UPS packaging. Um, somehow in here there'll be, I imagine, a box. It's always the case with unboxings. It's figuring out exactly where to, to place the camera, but we seem to have there. So we've got the, uh, the eye materialized box with uh, a bit more tape on here as well. So we get into there, hopefully, any second now, and uh, we'll then get to the point of actually being opening up the final box. There we have, obviously, some paperwork. Lots of packing, aha, and in here, I passed the parcel game this, isn't it? I can feel something, obviously, with some weight and uh, metallic. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. We can see, here we have a 3D printed metal object. That's, that's absolutely extraordinary. Look, if you look at, you can see it is absolutely very, very solid. Um, that is the carbon nanotube segment we saw in the computer, but now um, printed uh, by, by no obvious means of manufacture. Beautifully finished off, um, quite solid. People, I think, still think of 3D printing as, as all about plastics, but that's a very good example that um, an object which has been printed in, in something else. So. Uh, let me just stick a close-up lens on, I can show you that in even more detail. As you can see, the, the surface quality really is, is very, very good. This is produced by um, laying down layers of, of a powder of stainless steel, binding those layers of powder, and then infusing the final object with bronze. So there's, there's no indications of stepping or anything else on this model. It really is um, just a piece of, on the surface, it looks like sol solid metal. There's, there's no no indication of anything else. Um, so there we have it, my first 3D printing experiment, an object printed out by the online iMaterialize service, and we've gone from this 3D model of an object to this actual solid final um, printed out version. That, I think, is a very interesting and very successful online 3D printing experiment. 3D printing may soon do for physical objects what the internet has already done for information. To learn more, just visit the 3D printing section of explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.